Hello and welcome to a very short lesson on finding the area of a triangle using trigonometry. This lesson is equally applicable to A level and to higher tier GCSE. We'll begin by looking at the standard formula for the area of a triangle, a half base times height, and we'll derive an alternative formula which uses trigonometry. We'll then go on to find the area of three triangles using our new formula. To begin then, I have here a triangle with one side labelled as the base and the height is the distance, the perpendicular distance to the opposite corner. In this case, the area of a triangle is given by a half base times height. Where does that come from? Let me show you. If we put a dotted line up here to make a rectangle, then what would be the area of that rectangle? Well, the area of a rectangle is length times width. And in this case, that would be the base times that distance there, which is the same as the height. So it's base times height. But if you look carefully, you'll see that that little triangle there is the same as that one there, if we just flipped it over. And that one there is the same as that one there. So the triangle is just half the area of the rectangle. And that's where we get the formula, a half base times height. Let's move on and take an alternative view. I've got the same triangle, this time the corners are labelled capital A, B and C. And what we normally do if we've got letters A, B and C is we make the side opposite angle B, small b, and the side opposite angle C, small c, and the side opposite angle A, small a. I've still left H on to denote the height of the triangle. I put a little red arc here because I'm particularly interested in angle C. We're going to now look within this right angle triangle on the left and I can write down that the sine of angle C is equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. So that's H divided by B. Now if I just multiply that equation through by B, I will get B sine C is equal to H. Now let's go back to our formula on the previous page. The area of the triangle is equal to a half base times height, which in this case is a half of A multiplied by H. So it's a half AH. But now I can substitute for H because I know that H is B sine C. So this becomes a half A multiplied by B sine C. And that's in the format that students usually learn this formula. Area of a triangle is a half A B sine C. But it's important to recognize the patterns because the triangle might not be called A B C and you might not be asked to deal with angle C. So what we have here is a half multiplied by this side, multiplied by that side, multiplied by the sine of the angle in between them. And that's the pattern you have to recognize. So let's see if we can write down three different versions of the formula. What I want is the area is a half times the product of any two sides multiplied by the sine of their included angle. So I can write the area of a triangle is equal to a half A times B, that's that side times that side, times the sine of the included angle, sine of angle C. But equally, I could say it's a half of A times C, that's A times C, times the sine of this angle in between them. So it's sine B. And finally, another alternative, I could have a half multiplied by B times C, that's that side multiplied by that side, multiplied by the sine of the angle in between them. So in this case, it's sine A. So each letter occurs once in the formula. Right, now we'll look at three examples to put these into practice. Example one. Find the area of this triangle. 
we have a 19 meter side, a 17 meter side, and the angle between those two sides is 53 degrees. So we can simply write down our formula that the area is equal to a half multiplied by 19, multiplied by 17, multiplied by the sine of the angle in between them, the sine of 53 degrees. So we get the calculator and we've got a half, which is 0 0.5, multiplied by 19, multiplied by 17, multiplied by sine 53. And on this calculator, I have to put the angle in before I ask for the sine. Unusual that. And it comes to 128.98 to two decimal places, 128.98. And if the sides are in metres, then the area will be in metres squared. Moving on to example two, find the area of this triangle. The only difference here is we have an obtuse angle, but we don't have to worry about that. The formula for the area will take care of it. So I can write down that the area is equal to a half multiplied by 11 multiplied by 13, multiplied by the sine of 125 degrees. So that's 0 0.5 multiplied by 11, multiplied by 13, multiplied by the sine of 125 degrees. 58.57 to two decimal places, 58.57, and this time the units will be centimetres squared because the sides are in centimetres. Moving on to our final example, example three. This one looks a little more complicated. What I'm going to do here is find the area of this triangle three different ways. I'm going to use our basic formula using each angle in turn. Now we wouldn't normally have this much information about a triangle, but what I did was I set up a diagram of a triangle with sides five meters, six meters, and seven meters before the lesson began, and I used the cosine rule to work out each angle. So everything we could possibly know about the triangle is there, the three angles to one decimal place, and the lengths of the three sides. So let's see what happens when we use our formula. First of all, a half AB sine C. Well, if the area is a half AB sine C, that is a half multiplied by side A is 7, side B is 6, and the angle in between is 44.4. So it's 7 times 6 times sine 44.4 degrees. Let's get the calculator. 0 0.5 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 6 multiplied by the sine of 44.4 degrees equals 14.69. So let's say 14.7 to one decimal place. 14.7 and the units will be in meters squared. Now let's do the same example again, but this time we'll use area is a half a c sine b. So it's equal to a half multiplied by A is 7, C is 5, and the angle in between them, angle B, is 57.1. So it's 7 times 5 times the sine of 57.1 degrees. So 0.5 multiplied by 7, multiplied by 5, multiplied by the sine of 57.1 degrees. And again, we get 14.69, and that gives me 14.7 meters squared. And finally, using a half BC sine A. So that's a half 
multiplied by B is 6, C is 5, and the angle in between them is 78.5 degrees. So it's 6 times 5 times the sine of 78.5 degrees. So that's 0 0.5 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 5 multiplied by the sine of 78.5 degrees, which is equal to 14.7 to one decimal place. And of course, we would expect this triangle to have one area. So whichever way we find it, we should get the same answer. You may have noticed that the three answers differed perhaps in the third decimal place, but that's simply because I've rounded these angles to one decimal place. The more accurate the angles, the more equivalence there would be between the three calculations. Well, that brings us to the end of this short lesson on finding the area of a triangle by trigonometry. It crops up an awful lot on both A-level and GCSE, so it's well worth getting to know. There's a short exercise with the same kind of questions we've just been doing that awaits you now.